let t be a linear transformation from r square to r square and t is defining by this structure t of x y is x comma zero then the characteristic values of t are first we find matrix representation of t and t of x y is given as x comma zero we know that basis for r square is one comma zero and zero comma one this is basis and these are constituents of basis so write image of codomain with the help of these basis element and same as domain and codomain so t of 1 comma 0 will be 1 comma 0 and this can be written as 0 times 1 comma 0 plus sorry 1 time 1 comma 0 and 0 times 0 comma 1 t of 0 1 can be written as 0 0 and this one can be written as 0 times 1 comma 0 plus 0 times 0 comma 1 means linear combination of basis element so matrix representation of this one is none other than coefficients of this linear combination then characteristic values of this matrix representation as uh, sum of all lambdas i is 1 and determinant of this matrix is 0 means determinant is 0 means one eigenvalue is 0 compulsory so option c and d discard here but trace is trace of this matrix representation is 1 and in option b trace is minus 1 so option a is correct because of trace is positive 1 if the characteristic values of a 3 by 3 real matrix matrix a are minus 1 1 and 0 then which one option is correct if characteristic values of a matrix as a matrix is 3 by 3 of the size and eigenvalues of this matrix are 1 minus 1 and 0 if eigenvalues of a matrix is given then somehow at most or maximum information is given to us if all eigenvalues we known then we can write characteristic polynomial by x minus 1 x plus 1 x this is the characteristic polynomial so you can write chx ch for characteristic and this is invariable x so i wrote uh, x here this is x square minus 1 x so x cube minus x this is characteristic polynomial and by Kelly hamilton theorem we know that uh, every matrix satisfy its characteristic polynomial this means that a cube minus a is 0 this means that a cube is a means option d is correct now there is nothing to do in this problem if you know the correct Kelly hamilton theorem and how to write characteristic polynomial if eigenvalues are given to us if lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 are eigenvalues then x minus lambda 1 x minus lambda 2 x minus lambda 3 like this we write characteristic polynomial which one of the following is not a subspace of square matrices over R? For option associated, this problem is given as W3 is this set where trace of A is 0. And if A belongs to W2, then determinant of A is 0. In W1, first element is 0. And in W4, transpose of the matrix is same as given matrix. So we test these options one by one and uh, reach the final answer so for option a 
in which a trace of a is zero trace of a is zero if this w3 will form subspace then it will follow the all three property of subspace test a zero matrix belongs there means any square zero matrix suppose this is two by two matrix then this is trace of this matrix is also zero so that zero matrix belongs in w3 also if a a is in w3 then ca will be in w3 because diagonal elements will increase by the increase or decrease by the same element c so again trace will be zero because of you can consider if diagonal elements are a b c d and these diagonal elements are of a then you can multiply these diagonal element by c then their sum all again will be zero because of distributive property if we are taking two elements a and b then their sum will be zero because of diagonal sum if a b c d are diagonal elements suppose four elements i i have chosen then the, their sum is also zero and uh, this sum will also zero so sum of or sum of diagonal elements when we taking sum of the matrices then diagonal ele elements will become will become zero means their trace will be zero so option a is subspace now come to option b as in option b what is option b in option b determinant of a is zero so zero matrix is there there is no problem if we are taking two ele two elements one zero zero one zero 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 determinant of this one is also zero and determinant of zero 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 one is also zero but their sum is identity matrix of order two and their determinant and determinant of this matrix is not zero means sum of two sum of two matrices is not in w2 so w2 is not a subspace and uh, we are interested only in which doesn't form subspace so b option is a correct choice now let's see option c and d if any element in w3 then first uh, element all first pivot position means uh, a11 entry is zero then in zero matrix first element is also zero means in principal diagonal in sum also so w1 is also service space now w3 now w4 means option d so w uh, w1 is also a service space now Come to the point option D in W4. W4 having the property A transpose is A means symmetric matrix, symmetric real symmetric matrix. Sum of two real symmetric matrices is again symmetric. There is scalar multiply by any scalar, real scalar, then it is also symmetric matrix and uh, zero matrix is again symmetric matrix so option d forms subspace so correct choice is only option b where w2 is not forming subspace the group s3 cross s3 has an element of order means possible order of an element which is in s3 cross s3 what we know that this is a direct product of finite groups of finite product in this the order of an element in a direct product of a finite number of finite groups is the lcm of the components of the element lcm of the components of the elements of this is 
equal to order of an element g1 g2 and so on up to gn if this is an element then order of this element is lcm of individual or component order of the components we know that s3 has elements of order 1 2 3 so s3 cross s3 will have element suppose this is an element ab then order of this element ab will be lcm of possible order of a and possible order of b we know that possible order of a and b are means 1 2 and 3 means 1 1 lcm of this one lcm of 1 2 lcm of 1 3 and th three other pair also lcm of 3 1 lcm of 3 2 and lcm of 3 3 if and lcm of 2 comma 3 lcm of 1 2 is done if some some lcm is remain then you can justify yourself but uh, you can check here all lcm is either 1 2 3 and 6 none other than these lcms so possible order of this one this one element is 6 so option d is correct uh, lcm of an element which is in direct product of s3 cross s3 never be 18 18 9 and other so option d is correct let t be a linear transformation from p to x to r square and image of any polynomial under t is by order pair p0 is first constituent and p1 is second constituent of the order pair if s1 is this set 1x x square and s2 is order pair 1001 with two bases of p2x and r2 these two bases are known as a standard ordered basis then the matrix of t with respect to basis s1 to s2 always we find matrix representation with the help of basis one from domain and second one from codomain here basis for domain is s1 and basis for codomain is known as s2 and this is nothing but order pair 0 1 sorry 1 0 0 1 and s1 for domain is 1 x x square this one help uh, us to generate constant polynomial this x uh, help us to uh, generate a linear polynomial and x square quadratic polynomial one zero help us to locate elements on x axis and zero one help us to locate element on y axis and linear combination of these help us to uh, generate any element in r square so these are basic or generating set so matrix represent matrix uh, presentation of linear transformation t from s1 to s2 suppose this is matrix a so procedure is that consider px is one by one domain element is one then again px is x and after that px is x square one by one we consider px as this elements of domain basis after applying t on these this t will send you send image of p as p0 because of this is a constant polynomial 
so p0 and p1 is same so p0 is also one and p p0 and p1 both are same so this is order pair write this image with the help of basis of codomain so this is 1 1 0 plus 1 0 1 this is x so t will send this as p0 is 0 and p1 is 1 because of identity polynomial so this is 1 0 times 1 0 plus 1 times 0 1 and this one is last one is x square so p0 is 0 and p1 is 1 so again this is 0 times 1 0 plus 1 times 0 1 so constant of coefficient of this linear combination becomes columns so 1 1 is first column 0 1 and 0 1 so this is matrix representation of t and size of this matrix is 2 by 3 always if t is a linear transformation from suppose this is a vector space v to w then dimension of w becomes the row and dimension of v becomes column so this is the fundamental concept uh, to find matrix representation with respect to basis the rank of the matrix a where a is this matrix now find rank of this matrix so how to find rank of this matrix and first we know that uh, what is the rank rank is the greatest minor which has non-zero determinant it means that or in terms of non-zero rows or column vectors this is known as rank so first of first of all row reduce this matrix and find number of non-zero rows apply row operation we are changing r2 by r2 plus r1 second is r3 we are changing r3 plus 4 times r1 and r4 is changing by as r4 plus 3 times r1 these are raw operation we applying simultaneously to row reduce this matrix so first row is same minus 1 1 minus 2 minus 1 second row is 0 0 again 0 and 0 third row is 0 0 minus 2 because of minus 8 so minus 4 and this one become minus 2 this is 0 0 3 2 is 6 so minus 2 and minus 1 so you can say that these two row last two rows are in proportion so you can do one thing that divide this r3 by 1 upon 2 so this equivalent matrix is minus 1 1 minus 2 minus 1 0 0 0 0 and this is 0 0 uh, you can take minus 1 of 1 by 2 1 by 2 so 2 and this one will become 1 0 0 minus 2 and minus 1 now apply r4 r4 change by r4 plus r3 so this row becomes 0 and this is also 0 so there is only two non-zero rows you got so rank of this matrix is 2 let z o plus be a group if the binary operation o plus is defined by 
if two elements a and b are coming from integer then if we operate with this binary operation then this give give you a plus b minus 5 for all a b which are coming from set of integer now we are interesting to find identity element of this group z o plus is a group and identity is unknown here then the property of identity if an element this is an element of the group if a belongs to z o plus then a e is a this is the property of identity and there is nothing in this a and e it means binary operation and by the property of this or defining this is a plus e minus 5 is a now this is the equation because of a this a this a and e are elements of integer so this is equation in terms of integer so you can cancel out otherwise you cannot because of cancellation law hold whenever you can multi you can operate with inverse element of that but we cancel out this by as normally we do in calculation of uh, just as in mathematics because of these are integer so minus e minus 5 is 0 this implies that e is 5 means identity is 5 so option d is correct the total number of surjective group homomorphism from the group j20 to j8 we know that number of group homomorphism if f is a group homomorphism from j20 to j8 then we are seeking number of number we normally denote by h symbol this is number of surjective surjective group homomorphism we are seeking this one if f is a group homomorphism from jdm to jdn then number of 1 1 group homomorphism can be find by euler toten function phi m if m divides n and number of on to group homomorphism can be find by phi n if n divides m there is no one one group homomorphism if m doesn't divide n also there is no on to group homomorphism if n doesn't divide m this is the basic concept so we are seeking surjective group homomorphism it means that should be 1 1 and on to it means that there is no on to group homomorphism because of a doesn't divide 20 so there is no on to group homomorphism it means no surjective group homomorphism so answer is mathematically option b as with the family of orthogonal trajectories of the family of curve 2x square plus y square equals k for k belongs real number and k greater than 0 if c belongs to s and script c passes through the point 1 2 then script c also passes through which point means if script c this is script c it is not not uh, like this but you can understand anyone this is belong to s and s is family of orthogonal trajectories given by 2x square plus y square equal to k this k forms family means constant number and this is coming from r positive 
and this C passes through one two. Then C also passes through. N another point we have to ask. Another one point we have to ask. Now first understand what's the meaning of orthogonal trajectories. Suppose these are two parabolas opening at positive x axis and positive y axis then these two axes either x axis or y axis are tangent one is tangent to this one x axis tangent to this curve and y axis is tangent to this curve means these two tangents are orthogonal to each one so these two curves known as orthogonal trajectory now to find c 2x square plus y square equal to k and you know that for orthogonal th these two are tangent and for tangent we know that m1 m2 equal to minus 1 m1 into m2 equal to minus 1 these m1 m2 are slope of tangent means if slope is represented by dy upon dx then when it will gives you minus 1 then you multiply by dx y dy negative of this one then this one these two are orthogonal means you have to replace uh, dy upon dx by this one so find dy upon dx for this means uh, you have to differentiate this given equation family of equation of family of curve with respect to x it means 4x square plus 2y dy upon dx equal to 0 because of k is constant this implies 2x square plus y dy upon dx equal to 0 and this dy upon dx replaced by negative of dx dy to satisfy this condition this implies 2x square plus y minus dx upon dy equal to 0 this will give you 2x square equal to y dx dy now separate variable separable method apply here this implies one upon y dy equal to one upon two x square sorry here not x square you can when we differentiate this one 2 to 4 x similarly here here and here 2 x dx now integrate with respect to x it will be or integrate this equation log y equal to 1 upon 2 log x plus log c this is this is constant not for curve not for not for curve log y equal to log root x plus log c apply the property of log you have y equal to root x yeah, root x c now this is passing through the point 1 2 as given so put 1 2 in this one you will get the equation you will get the value of c pass this point 2 equal to c 
root 1 implies c equal to 2. Now from this one we have y equal to 2 root x or using this one. Now we have y equal to 2 root x. We have y equal to 2 root x. Now this point in option A not satisfying this one. So option A discard. Option B is also not satisfying this point. This uh, equation so B discard here. C satisfies here when you put in place of x as a 2. So value of y equal to 2 root 2. So C point is satisfying this one. So C will be our right choice. D discard here.